Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. I've just, over the last little while I thought I'd like to do this video. It's going to, going to be pretty quick, but I just wanted to look at some 3D printed patterns and and the good and the bad parts about making them. Um, and how useful they really are. I was up at Petrie to the Steam at Sunday, which is an international event, I guess, and our our state held a day on Sunday. And there's another video to follow about that. It'll only be quick. But I thought I'd get in and finish this set of patterns and take up and get them cast, which I've done. And I actually moulded a couple of these myself and learned a lot in the process but just looking at these patterns there's some problems with 3d printers um, first one is that mostly when you print something if we find something for a straight edge what you'll find is that it pulls up on the edge depending on the shape um, these not so much because they've got quite a bit of weight around the edge and, and not so much in the middle. This one's got quite a bit of weight in the middle and not so much on the edge. So you're getting a fair bit of shrinkage on this on the outside here um, at a different rate to what you get in the middle. So these go together, but there's quite a, quite a gap there and that's not really acceptable for pattern making. So they've all got to be flattened off on the end. Now whether you fill them with body filler like I've done with these this is a reject that didn't quite turn out but just to show you that's how much fillers on the ends there where where it's pulled up um, this part here in particular and this part here are a little bit um, that's the problem with 3d printers the other issue is that you get lots of nice square corners you need to just challenge yourself not to do that because if you make one out of wood you don't tend to have that so we've got sharp corners here and we haven't really on this pattern which is probably the better one of the lot haven't really got enough radius on the inside or on the spokes there and certainly not in there and when you pull it out of the mold um, you get disturbances these turned out all right we'll have a look at the, at the castings these are still got a bit of sand on them, they need to scrub up in the sink. But there's not a lot of shrinkage there where the where the metal goes in the mould. Um, they're all pretty good. Those 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 little wheels are, are really good. This one with the big flat spokes, and I just drew this or made this as drawn, and that's a trap to fall into because the drawing's got lots of flat corners and straight lines in it, whereas Probably this pattern shouldn't have. It should have been round on there and this should have had a bit more radius all around. Um, a bit more radius in here. Nice round corner on the outside. A little bit more draft than what I've put there maybe. If we have a look at that, we've still got a bit of draft happening there. But it's... If we have a look at this one, it's quite shrunk here. It will clean up, I think, but there's also a bit of shrinkage in the middle there. And probably we should have had a riser off the middle. Um, but they haven't stressed too much about that. And it will clean up okay. These were actually put on a matchboard. Um, and, or oh, this one was. And you can see that there's some issues because the mould... How do I explain this? The cope, this sat in the cope and then the drag went on top and there was a flat board over the top and we took that out afterwards. What happened is that we've got this flashing around here because the edges aren't particularly well de defined or they're not defined at all on the on the on the drag or on the top 
the top part of the box on the moulding. So you can see that there. The difference with this one, done by someone who knows what they're doing, um, is it's all nice and clean. And that's because this was just done, just sat on a board and the the um, the cope was sat down there and the sand was packed around it and then we swept the, the top of it off a bit under flush and moulded the top on it with a little bit of an imprint as well. So the parting line for this I guess is what we're saying is just down a fraction there rather than being right on the top like this one. So we've got a much cleaner casting. Um, we've also got a little bit of shrinkage there but not much and it will certainly clean up. These aren't bad castings at all, they're just aluminium and they're certainly good enough for what they're going to be. But So I wanted to show you there, These, this is a two piece pattern and the same deal, we made a match box, a match board for it and set it up top and bottom. Probably that wasn't particularly necessary. There's quite a few sharp corners through here though and we've got this little piece here um, that the, the metal's got to flow into. So there was a, a vent or a here on this part when we set it up, which has been chopped off, and the metal flowed into here. Um, that's not a bad casting either. You can tell a few things, I think, probably. It's quite a steep learning curve, but this side here, which is the the top side, and it's where the, the porosity was, is, is in the top. All the, all the crap comes to the top, I guess, and oxygen, etc, etc, etc. The bottom here, which is the front, is really, really, really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a pattern in there, which is exactly the same as the pattern in the casting. Don't know if I can catch that. It's just the lines in there. So, that side of the casting is really nice. This side's a bit porous and a bit rough. Um, it grips your fingers, whereas this is smooth. But all in all, they're pretty good castings. And I guess what I'm saying is that I'm not 100% sure that the 3D printing is really the best way to make patterns. They're nice looking patterns. There's no reason why that shouldn't shouldn't work, except when it actually comes to doing it, there's a few little issues. And there's a few ways that they could be made better. We've got a little bit of a crumble there on that one. And I think we've got exactly the same there. And that's because of the lines in the pattern, I believe. Um, just here. If we look, there's lines on the inner rim of the pattern there. And they've just caught the sand as we pulled it out. And that's why I've got these here that will need to be cleaned out. Thought you might like a look at them. Thanks for watching. More soon. Uh, back to the tap wrenches this afternoon. Uh, got some boiler bits that need to be done too. And I've had a good weekend. So hope everyone else has. Thanks for watching. More soon. Be kind to each other.
Oh, that's a huge job, that one. Oh, that one. That's a huge job, that one. Oh, I'm out.